Hello, my name is David Tavares, and this is the portfolio content example for widgets, main menu, and UI. This example is from the twin stick shooter I developed that's now available on Steam called iWoman. Uh, you'll see here is the widget blueprint for the main menu. Um, it's got a bunch of different functions here. Uh, just start playing the game right away. Um, a character customizing option, um, which you're allowed to skip. You don't have to make a character before you play. Uh, uh, this button leads to a story widget where you get to read on what's going on in this game. Uh, how to play, um, if this is like your first time playing, that's a good button to press uh, so you know uh, what the controls are. Um, they're intuitive though, it's just left, right, up, down, so it's uh, pretty simple. Um, and the uh, settings, uh, that's the basic settings for the game itself. Um, I will go over that in another portfolio entry here, because that's a little bit more complex. Uh, credits is also just a list of um, who contributed to this, including all the uh, artists who I bought content from. Um, I, but I did all this um, coding myself. Um, I initialized my widgets um, in a couple different places. Um, uh, for example, the game mode is where I initialize the main menu, because that's the only place it's being used in this when it's in this game mode. Um, many of the other UI widgets are initialized in the uh, the character controller, though, um, so that the character always has access to them. Um, and it's uh, the widgets are put to the viewport. Um, uh, the main menu one is there in the the level. Uh, so there's a main menu level specifically where that goes up, and I will show you that example in a second. Um, here's another example of um, another widget that I've developed. This is the, the credits that I mentioned um, with giving everyone the, let's see here, game designer myself. I did have a voice actor here, a good friend of Aurora Hampton. Um, and these are all the artists and designers of assets that I used. Um, I also have this cursor widget, um, which you will see in a second. Um, since, uh, and here's the controllers that I mentioned earlier as well. Um, and this is a different version of the controller widget that pops up, and this is in gameplay. I will also show you this. Um, and in the character themselves, there are also some widgets being referenced. Uh, for example, when they take damage and they're dying, I do add um, a dying widget to the viewport, um, which goes away when they're no longer dying. It's just a flashing red outline. I could show you that as well. So this is in-game. I've got it playing here. Um, for example, if I go to here, it's the character creator. Um, you can just change them and customize them as you wish. Uh, this is the story, the aforementioned story. Um, so this is the version of the how to play that's uh, in this, uh, the main menu. Um, there's also a version of that in play. Let me show you what's happening in play. So this is another widget that comes up. Um, this is the loading screen. Um, it will only go away after you press any key. I did press a key, and wow, I got robots coming after me already. Um, this is not the content um, example of combat, so I will try to quickly show you what it looks like when I'm dying. Oh, I died too fast. Let me try that again. Get the shotgun. There we go. Flashing red dying. And then if I hit escape, I'll get this widget, uh, which is similar to the main menu widget. Um, and let's go to how to play. And that is a similar uh, to the how to play in the main menu, except you could still see what's going on. And this concludes my content example for widgets, main menu, and UI. Thank you, and uh, please check out my other content examples.